Hey you guys, I was just laying here and I haven't been able to sleep in a couple of days. And so, oh that's, hold on, I gotta eat up. Oh no, okay, I'll just ignore it. Alright, I'll just ignore it because I can, I can do that. I'm not a slave to my phone, okay? We spend our whole lives in our head thinking that we are slaves to things like our phone. I'm actually not a slave to my phone. I have the choice of whether I want to answer a call or not, no matter who it's from, okay? It's my choice whether I want to answer it or not, and that time I chose not to, okay? Because that's a choice that your body and your mind can make. Your body can actually make choices without your mind. Um, your body knows how to do a whole lot of shit that your body, that your brain doesn't think you know how to do. Everybody knows how to dance, okay? The secret is to get outside of your brain and get into your eyes, okay? Be your eyes for a second. Don't be your brain. Don't think. Just dance. Turn on your favorite music. Don't think about it. Be your eyes and watch your body move, okay? Um, because it's important. It's like, it's a good way to get you out of your own head. Anyway, um, the reason I was coming on here was because I want to talk to everybody about abortion um, and how God views abortion. Okay, God hurts. He hurts so deeply. Um, abortion hurts. The mothers, it hurts. It, it, it is like destroying a seed before the seed has a chance to grow, okay? And that makes God's heart sad because every seed has beautiful potential to be this amazing life, okay? But God loves the mothers who have to make that choice. And um, he hopes that his people, which are called by his name, would humble themselves. And instead of building bigger buildings and fancier, I don't know, slideshows or whatever, projectors, then um, how about you invest a little bit of money in these fetuses that are getting aborted? How about you make some places for women to go who, who don't have any place to go, who are needing to get some support? How about you pay? Pay. That's what I want to say. Pay, okay? Put your money where your mouth is. Pay people who are having a child in their womb that you don't want destroyed because God loves that, that, God loves that fetus too, right? That's your whole point is that God loves the fetus. He doesn't like abortion. Abortion is sin because it's destroying the seed that God created, right? So put your money where your mouth is and instead of preaching about how awful it is, pay these women to go full term. Okay? Solves both problems right away. <laughs> and guess what? You guys are the ones who have the most money anyway. Look at your churches. Look at how you dress to go to those churches. So yeah, share the wealth. Help people out that need help do what you your mouths say you do and practice what you preach but like <laughs> god loves y'all he loves you but he also loves all of the other people he loves me even though i say weird stuff some of his words that come through my mouth are not actually his words they're just from my brain okay so i apologize if i've offended anyone I love you all. God loves us all. And God wants this issue to be addressed in the way that it needs to be addressed. Okay? Christians, you believe in God, right? God can... It, money is paper with people's faces on it. Okay? God can give it or take it away anytime he wants to. Because you know what? He is God, okay? And maybe he wants you to pay some woman who doesn't have any other good options to bring 
life into the world and it will be a beautiful life but we need to work on our foster care systems we need to have places for all these kids to go and people need to adopt quit talking about doing that stuff quit blaming everybody else and get on your knees and pray about it repent seek god's hand seek his heart